Welcome to week three of Rovember's workouts. This one is called Low High. We're gonna have some fun going low and going high together. Make sure you strap into your machine. Any machine counts. Doesn't have to be what I've got, but grab that handle, sit ready, and we're gonna get into a warm up here in three, two, one, and taking off on our warm up. Now, first things first, when you're getting into a warm up on any rowing machine, you wanna make sure that you get your body juices flowing. You need to tell your body, hey, wake up. We got some fun to do today, okay? We need to start sending blood to the right areas. That means taking blood away from your digestion system, probably away from your decision maker up here, moving it out to the limbs, the areas that are gonna be doing all the pumping and pushing. So once we get those warm, all of a sudden a workout goes so much better because your body's not fighting you. It's not trying to figure out what to do with the blood flow in the moment. Now, today's workout is gonna be a jump around. So every, we're gonna be doing two minutes of work at a time. Now for every two minutes of work, you're going to be starting at one rate, finishing at another. Whew. It's a good thing we're warming up. I'm starting to breathe heavy. You'll be starting at one stroke rate and finishing at another. You'll then take a little break, then we'll come back and do it again. Don't worry, I said it for you. That's half the fun of these workouts. You basically don't have to do anything. Shh. Apple Watch. You basically don't have to do anything. It's just me doing it for you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're doing all the work. But I will hold rate for you, so at least you don't have to think about that. So again, this is going to be two minutes on, one minute off. We're going eight rounds today. That's 24 total minutes, but really only 16 minutes of work. So, you know, a 16 minute workout, pfft, I'm gonna spit on myself anytime, all day long. You, got, you need to get in your workout in 30 minutes because your kids are running around. Guess what? Mine just ran over here and gave me an avocado. I don't know why, but she did. I think it fell off our tree. So, Let's just drill into a little bit of movement practice here. Come join me at arms only. Sorry, that was a little abrupt, I know. Let's add in the hip swing in two, that's one. And two, just swinging the hips, keeping the legs straight. So what we're doing right now is just greasing the groove of how you actually move the order of operations through the rowing stroke. Very important that you learn this piece of the puzzle. If you're like, listen, Shane, I'm just here to work out. I get it, I get it. I promise, I'm not trying to turn you into a rower, but you are a dark horse after all if you're here. And dark horses do focus on the details, the things that make them better. We take nothing for granted. We don't just show up to work out. We try to be the best version of ourselves. Now we're getting ready to go in five seconds here. We're gonna start off round one, stroke rate 20. And on, let's go. Nice chill 20. 18, I'll bring it up for you. There it is. And of course my little notepad down here that I was keeping for myself, just flipped pages. Cause you know, naturally on stroke one. So the key here at low rates, if you're like, ah, I'm not working hard. This is a low rate. Not true, my friend. Not true. Low rates require that you push harder. So you want to brace and really push your legs down into the machine like you got business with it. Like you got business with that machine. Listen, you and me, hey, this ain't going to fly. Oh, my notepad. I think we're going to 24. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to 24. Whether that's right or not, we'll find out later. Let's bump it up two more. There's 23, 24. So key here, think about pushing that machine away from you. The harder you push with the legs, the more work you do. The stroke rate is a very little part of working harder. If you can only row at a 30 and get a good workout, 
That means that you need to step back, focus on your mechanics, kind of like the drill we did at the beginning. Maybe watch some of my other videos focusing on mechanics to learn how do you get your whole body working? Because where you really make the money is when you're just driving, getting your whole body to function. All right, that was one minute of rest. I can come back to the notepad now. Of course you'd flip on me. So normally, there we go. Normally, not an advocate of stopping during the rest. If you've been here before, you know that. During the rest, we just cruise. Just chill. It's active rest, okay? It's not rest rest. Rest rest is for after the workout. You get to fall on the floor. Don't do that. <laughs> you can do that if you want, but don't do that. It's fine, don't worry about it, don't, don't. But the point being, we use this active rest to make sure that we don't freeze the body, meaning all of a sudden we, t we're, you know, we send a signal to the body, hey, you're done. So the body starts to develop, to devote that blood elsewhere. And then you gotta re-kickstart the cycle. Here we go, three, two, one, we're going at a 22. Come join me. There it is, 22. If you haven't figured out the rhythm already, you will in a minute. So going low and then switching to high. You know, I have this lesson that I, I teach my kids. And I don't know why, but this one has always felt important to me. And that lesson is that we like hills. My daughter says this to me all the time, whenever we're walking up a hill. We like hills, right, Daddy? Yeah, we do. As dark horses, we like hills. And I see this workout as a hill every time. We're gonna make a jump up to 26 here. On this one, 26, let's go. And this is when we climb the hill, when that rate jumps. So we walk on this flat, and then we hit a hill. Why do dark horses like hills? Why do I teach my daughter to like hills? Well, because most people hate hills. They make us work harder, yuck. But you know what? If you can learn to grind, if you can learn to push on a hill, you will pass most people because most people don't like the hard work. But you know what, a dark horse, we dwell in hard work. That's where the money's made. That's when nobody else wants to work hard. That's when we double down. Oh, you don't wanna do it? Cool, I'm going to, because I know that's gonna make me better. And while I may not be the fastest, may not be the strongest, you're never gonna make me quit. And we really find that out when we challenge ourselves on hills. It probably also helps <laughs> that in rowing, there's a large priority on quad endurance, just leg endurance. The ability to just keep going, keep pushing your legs down every single time without stopping. <sighs> my previous sport in high school, I know I talk about my previous sport being baseball, but in high school, I loved skiing. I was a, I skied slalom, or raced slalom. And that's another sport where quad endurance is heavily valued. And we would spend just hours doing wall sits and stair climbs, just stairs on repeat forever. So I've always had this burned into me that we work hard on the climb. Here we go, three, two, one, we're down at a 24, let's go. So you should be getting comfortably elevated in stroke right now. Because we just gradually build each time. So we get to just settle into the rhythm. And just do the work. I'm here being the metronome for you. Tick, talk. Tick, talk. Tick, talk. If you can really think about rhythm as a metronome, whether you have rhythm or not, listen, we all have it. Just whether you've developed it or not. 
So if you can settle that, and just get comfy at rhythm, well, then you've got stroke rate. That's all it is. All right, we're gonna make our shift up to 28. Let's go, 28. Four beats up. I'm gonna try and do it faster for you this time. There it is, 28. Settling in. Chipping away. Push those legs down. We love hills. Let's go. We love hills. Just keep telling yourself, this is where they make the money. This is where you grow. Push when you make the shifts. Push and don't let off the throttle. Easy. Backing off. Take this moment to breathe. So when we back off, we take that opportunity to force the exhale. Why? You're like, I'd rather inhale. I know you would. The body's very good at inhaling. It's all we do when we gasp for air. But you hear how little exhale there was there? What that means is that we don't push that used up oxygen out of the body to make space for fresh oxygen to come in. If you can focus on exhaling halfway through a piece like that, one minute in, you'd be amazed. All of a sudden you feel this surge of energy and it's because you take in fresh oxygen to feed your musculature. Okay, getting ready to go. We're starting at a 26 on this one. Chipping away at a 26, two, one, let's go. Get comfy. It's all about rate. Find a rhythm here. Again, if you're running high on rate, can't match with me, you gotta look back, say, what is it about my mechanics that makes a rate like 26 feel like I can't get anything out of it? And the answer is always that your body hasn't learned yet how to squeeze and how to connect and how to, when you're connecting, how to put that effort all into the machine. When you learn it and it clicks and the light bulb goes, you're like, oh, there it is. Now I know why rowing is so good. 30, let's go. Really gotta make a mental shift to jump four beats. It's not easy. Even I struggle. I'm bouncing between 29 and 30. Gotta stay crisp. Gotta stay on. Make sure you aren't laying back too much, nor are you overreaching at the catch. Use the legs, snap them down. Press them to extension. Don't just flop them into extension. Here we go. Our breathe minute. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, Shane, where can we possibly go from here? We're only halfway. Are we gonna go 28, 32, 30, 34, 32, 36, 34, 30? You're insane. Nay, I tell you, nay. Don't worry. We're gonna make a slight step back now. Here's where we recommit. 
I want you to take a minute. Close your eyes for 20 seconds. I want you to imagine you're halfway done. What you want out of this workout. Why you showed up. Whatever distractions are happening, no big deal. Open those eyes. Let's get ready to go. Round five at a 22. You get to chill here now, but it's not a rest, okay? It's just a backing off of rate. So it's gonna come back to power a little bit more over heart rate. Connecting by hanging from the handle and pushing the machine away with your legs, keeping that body upright, that trunk engaged, squeezing tight like somebody's gonna punch you right as you're about to push through the legs. But you know there's a shift coming. You know what those jumps are. 26, let's go. Conscious shift. Learn now, quick, accelerated push. Think about that handle, nonstop accelerating through the body. Hang from it, let the legs do the work. Rate comes down, heart rate comes down, breathing rate comes down. <sighs> Calm the system. <sighs> breathing halfway. Next up, 24, 28. Easy day. We've got this. We've already hit a 30 today. I'm here with you. Just try to send it every time. Remember last time I had you close your eyes. Put out those distractions. Close them out. You only have three rounds left. What do you want the end of this workout to look like for you? What do you want it to look like? Open those eyes. Three, two, one. Let's go, 24. Try to be cool, relaxed, even though you're putting power into the machine. That means chill out on the slide forward. Don't waste any energy. Relax, put it on. Relax, turn it on. You only push when you have to. And that's during the drive. The rest of the time, there's no energy spent because it doesn't give us any value to slide forward faster and pull ourselves there. Think about using your hands to push yourself forward. Push, push, push. We got this together. 28, let's go. There it is. On it at the same time. I'm laying down that rhythm. You give me the power. Match me at the catch.
easy. Guess what? Yeah. We're three quarters of the way done. One quarter left. I think you know where this goes. We go 26, 30, then 28, 32. Calm your breathing. These shorts, all this Roan stuff, the really highlights. These guys, you wanna know why I'm good at rowing? <laughs> I was born with these big, thick legs. Always had them. Never knew what to do with them until I found rowing. So if you've got thick legs, got those thick thighs, you're in the right place. <sighs> All right, here we go. 26.30 on this one, picking it up. In three, two, one. Let's go, 26. Trying to settle in on a rate. Get comfy. Learn to push. Learn to use the legs. We're never slinging back and forth. We're never pulling the handle. We're pushing the machine. Jump in, here, 30, let's go. Big move, dig down, find it together. There it is. Easy. Woo. Breathing heavy. Guess that's appropriate. Where are you at? When you finish this, I want to know exactly how you felt at the end of this round, the second to last, and what you were thinking going into this next one. Tell me, I wanna hear it, so do the others. What goes through your mind when you've got one left that's gonna be your hardest working piece yet? What are you thinking about? Twenty-eight thirty-two. I had to check my notes, make sure I was right. All right, getting ready to go. Three, two, one, let's go. Chip away, 28. <sighs> Gotta try and be light here. Not smashing, rather light and quick. You don't wanna fatigue, just wanna breathe through it, but still put in the power. What are you talking about, Shane? You know what, sometimes when I'm tired, I don't know either, but we're doing it. Coming into the final minute.
32, let's go. Big jump. Ten seconds. Breathe. That breathing call was for me as well. Focus on the exhales. Coming up on one minute of rest. We're gonna keep spinning for the cool down. Don't you dare get off. Don't you dare put that handle down yet. Cool downs are part of the game. Without them, the body starts to freeze up. Take the time. It's just a couple minutes. You have that to spare. Promise you would, without even noticing it, scroll IG for two minutes. So just join me. I know an erg minute is longer than anything known to mankind. But you know what, this one's for your benefit. I think you can do it. Whew. Breathing it out. So remember, this is November, Week three, if you are just joining us, you just hear me, you're like, November, what the what? Link's in the description below, it's totally free. Every day for the rest of the month, we're gonna send you a workout in your inbox. And if you want just two weeks of workouts, guess what? Easy day, you got it, sign up. Come join the thousands, literally thousands, that are doing it right now. Everybody's posting about it, hashtag November. I know it's weird to say that live on a video, but the point being, Tons of people are doing this. Every day for the month of November, they row. They get on their machines, they become dark horses in that time. Parents, teachers, kids, retirees, athletes, rowers, all walks of life doing this. To come do one thing together for the month of November, lead yourself strong into the holiday season. Lord knows that's the hardest time to stay committed. I know that for sure. Okay, 10 more seconds of this. Just light, easy efforts. Three, two, one. Good, go ahead and set that handle down. And with that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding, ding, bell next to it. So that you get all of these. And with that, see you in the next workout.